Fuck the tabs up. Weirdest last words by death row inmates. A person's last words before they pass away can often be prophetic, profound, or poetic, or plain dumb. The following statements fall into that last category. Really now? Let's take a look here. James Jackson executed in, in, on, in Texas on February 7, 2007 for a triple murder. I'm ready to roll. Let's get this party started. Are you dead ass? What, what are the circumstances behind that? Let's get this party started? What the fuck? I don't know. Look, look, that's, that's insane. The nigga is literally about to get snuffed out. I'm ready to roll. What the fuck? I can't help but laugh at the ridiculousness of this. I, I know it's got to be legit. Obviously, the article can't. I mean, it could be it could be fake news, but I mean, it, it just this isn't something that I honestly feel like they'll fake. This seems like something that you can easily look up and confirm for yourself. This is James Jackson. I'm ready to roll. James Jackson murdered his wife and two stepdaughters. He left this note behind for police. I love Sharon, Sonny, and Erica. I couldn't take care of my family. I don't have a job. I gave them back to go You legit, my nigga? He and they will understand. James' final statement might just imply that his family is throwing a surprise party for him in heaven. To learn more about James, <laughs> what the fuck? Are you legit? Wow! That 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 uh, that is unexpected, bro. I I didn't think that we'd be reading about a nigga whose last words was talking about let's get this party started. That sounds like a cheesy fucking devil may cry line that Dante spews out. You know how that nigga Dante and Devil May Cry like let's get this party started. And he got me like come on, bro. I don't mean to make light of the situation, but this this is this nigga's last words. I don't know. That to me is ridiculous. All right, so let's take a look at the next person. His men, I, I don't know, bro. Is this him? That's him. This is this nigga's last words were that, bro. This is Thomas J. Grasso, executed in Oklahoma on March 20th. And we have a sponsorship coming in from Slash 508. Thank you very much, along with Jugger Jake with a sponsorship. Now, Thomas J. Grasso's last words are, I did not get my spaghetti. I did not get my spaghettios. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. This is, all right, now I see what they're talking about with this article being ridiculous. What the fuck is really going on here? He, he must, these must be troll comments. If he, he must have, he must have had the idea of if, the, if these are my last words, then I'm going to make them as ridiculous as possible. The nigga did not get his SpaghettiOs, but he got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Does that mean someone touched his damn spaghetti? This is not the situation to be making jokes about this. We're talking about death row inmates. Somebody touch her, his spaghetti! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Nigga, fuck! His last meal... Wait a minute. No, there's more context to this. His last meal was two dozen steamed mussels, two dozen steamed clams, flavored by a wedge of lemon, a double cheeseburger from Burger King, half dozen barbecued spare ribs, Two strawberry milkshakes, one half of a pumpkin pie with whipped cream, diced strawberries, and a 16-ounce can of spaghetti meatballs. Served at room temperature, no less. So Papyrus made his last meal, but all he wanted was his SpaghettiOs to find out more. So he didn't get his spaghetti. That's what he was saying. I didn't... Wait. Wait. No, 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 no. Oh, He's saying, oh, he got, he didn't get his spaghetti. Oh, he wanted SpaghettiOs, but he got spaghetti instead. I want the press to know this. As if it's like a, a big deal. Yeah, man, you know, they were, they, they, they probably were just like, you know what, just get him fucking spaghetti. Like, why do niggas care? Like, all right. And that's what he wanted the world to remember him by. That the nigga, nigga, nigga got his uh-oh spaghettios. <laughs> Oh, I love SpaghettiOs. I wouldn't complain, man. Listen, those shits were the jam back in the day. Raise a hand in the chat if you love SpaghettiOs the same way that I do. You shouldn't be complaining, nigga. At least they got you some shit. Yo ass, yo fucked up ass shouldn't have gotten anything if you did something. He was executed for two murders. So, hey. Aileen 
Wuornos, Aileen Wuornos here. His last words were, I'd just like to say, I'm sailing with the rock and I'll be back like Independence Day with Jesus, June 6th, like the movie, Big Mothership and all, I'll be back. This theoretical, this theatrical film monster was based on Aileen Wuornos. Judging by her last words, she can probably write better than most of Hollywood screenwriters. As far as the last statement goes, this one is top notch. Plus, she was a native Mitch Gare. I don't know what the fuck that is. This is just, this is just like, what the f She looks like she's tweaked the fuck out. It seems like her, half of her lifespan was spent on heroin, bro. I don't know. Like, that, that one wasn't creepy. It wasn't disturbing. It was just fucking stupid. Aileen's a chick, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, my bad. But god damn, fake news? I don't know. I don't think they have much reason to lie about what's in this article, the contents. You can easily look this up and find out for yourself. Higher plane of existence, or maybe she truly was up there. I would honestly feel, I don't know. I would never be in a situation like that where I'm on death row for crimes. But if I happen to be, I would want to make sure that my last words are something. What would I truly make my last words, man? Joy Con boy. <laughs> no, <I'm... laughs> Joy Con boy. <laughs> yeah, all right, he's ready. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, how do they even execute? They use the electric chair or they use like lethal injection? I wish they clarified. Now we have Clarence Ray Allen executed in California on January 17th, 2006. My last words will be Hookah Hey. It's a good day to die. Hookah Hey is a Western. Sal Indian turn of the hurry, hurry. Okay, so yeah, this is one of those other crazy ones. I'm not gonna read all these things. Clearly, some of these guys are tweaked out. George Harris, he was executed in Missouri for a murder. Somebody needs to kill my trial attorney. Ah, this truly is a heartfelt statement. Yet I'm not sure why his trial attorney needs to die, seeing as Harris was clearly guilty. He shot someone in the face because of two missing machine guns. And so he wished that his fucking attorney would get killed too. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's a good way of using your last words, bro. All right. And then we have another guy, Wesley. He was killed. Wait, rather, he was executed. And he said, I was once asked by somebody, I don't remember who, if there was any way sex offenders could be stopped. I said, no, I was wrong. At least he admitted that he was wrong. And now we know of one way to stop a sex offender, catch him and have him executed. He must have been a fucking animal to be put down. Wesley endured the first legal hanging as per his own request. He wanted to be hung in the United States since 1965. The nigga chose to be hung? Why would you go for that option? Wow. Dog got executed? Bro, wait. Dog. How you said Nate Dog got executed, bro? That's fucking crazy. No, nah, bro, no, don't even attribute those two. That's fucked up. But damn, bro, they really, they honored him on getting hung? I would think that, legally speaking, they could, they could like, bypass his request since it's so ridiculous, but when was he hung? In 1993, they just straight up laced his neck. They say ori this nigga because he wanted to be. Jeffrey Matthews, he was executed on 20, 2011. He says, I think the governor's phone is broke. He hadn't called yet. What's he talking about? Sorry, the phone ain't broke. Jeffrey and his partner murdered an elderly couple, stole 500. Usually this type of behavior is not excused by the government. Or the governor, rather. Yeah, I don't know, bro. So, so, you know, a lot of these guys are just being fucking ridiculous with their last words. They don't care. They're sociopaths. Why would they? That's in bad taste? Yeah, it is. You know, I mean, it, it's like the ridiculousness of what we're talking about here is crazy. Like, it, it's just... I want everyone to know that the prosecutor and Bill Scott are sorry sons of bitches. So this guy condemning other people on his last life, on his last breath, they might be sons of bitches, they might not. But either way, Mr. Ellis is linked to several murders and robberies. He became known as the bathtub slayer because he left his victim's bodies in the bathtub. Shit. Why is his neck so long? What the fuck is this? And we read through all of them at this point. Uh, crazy shit. This has been one hell of a night, kind of an eye-opener of a night, man. This is fucking wild.